Richard Ramirez, who you're about to meet, has turned his passion into an educational drive for Trinbagonians across the country. Taking photos of historical sites across Trinidad and Tobago, he now educates Trinbagonians on their history, on these remarkable landmarks. Let's welcome Richard via Zoom. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, Richard. Good morning, good morning. Thank you very much for having me, Brian. Uh, Ryan, actually, but that's okay. Ryan, but uh, uh, it's, it's okay. I, I do thank you, though, for this uh, draft. This is a little bit of a, what the book will be looking like, and I do thank you for this draft. I've had a few, uh, I've skimmed through it over the last 24 hours. You've turned your passion into, you know, this educational drive that I like to personally call it. Tell me about uh, taking these pictures from these historical sites and now putting it all, compiling your work into a book. Well, Ryan, it essentially started for me uh, quite some time ago. I, I've always had a, a passion for photography, um, but my my day-to-day -day job has been in the oil and gas industry and the power generation industry. So it's taken me around the world for, for a number of years. And I came back to Trinidad about five years ago and uh, decided, you know, let me actually make a little time to start doing some, some more photography at home. And what I enjoy about photography is being able to share. Um, taking a, a, a photo is not just about, um, you know, doing a nice photo and putting it on the, on the computer somewhere. It's about sharing it with people so they can see what you are in fact seeing. Um, so I started sharing to a fa Facebook page, a personal Facebook page, uh, when I would take uh, pictures. And I would hear people very often saying, wow, where is that? Is that Trinidad? Mm -hmm. And initially it surprised me that the people were not able to recognize the beauty of their own country. You know, very often we travel and you'll see us taking photos or selfies with a lot of historic buildings in the background in other countries but it seems like we don't we don't notice those things in our country so what i've been able to do is you know in taking the photo i've been able to, to ha have people zoom in on the actual building the icon the area and removed all of the noise from around it and when you when you remove that noise uh people tend to see it a little more clearly I started sharing these things uh, via Facebook and, and WhatsApp with a few friends. And um, it sort of picked up steam a little bit and eventually got to the point where I said, you know what, let me start thinking about doing a, a book on this because um, this would be something interesting to, to record. Um, in, so in doing this book, I said, well, of course, I can't just have images. I need to also have some, some narratives. And I found it very difficult to get information on many of our, our landmarks. Um, it seemed like the information was, was not available, or if it was, it was in bits and pieces all over the place. So I spent a little time and um, did some research. It took me, I think about, I've been doing this for about two years um, off and on now, um, but really sort of got good focus on it towards the end of last year to, to get this done for this year. So when can uh, we expect this book to be out? Like I said, this uh, this book that I have is just a draft. Well, it's um, the, the, the copy you have there is, is pretty much complete. Um, what I'm waiting on is, is the, I was actually planning to be in the marketing phase of it right now. Um, and by, by marketing phase, my intent was to go to a number of our corporate citizens and offer uh, copies of the book for sale in larger volumes. Um, the intent of, of which was to have them purchase, you know, a, a thousand copies, 2000 copies uh, that they can use for their corporate social responsibility program and uh, be able to put these copies where people can, can get uh, access at schools in particular. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, I, I sort of wanted you to expand on that. What do you hope sure. by, by, you know, putting this amazing adventure and this amazing journey into the compilation of a book, what do you hope that it really does for Trinbagonians? Well, I, my, my biggest thing is, you know, I hope people are able to, to recognize what we have. Um, I was very disappointed when, when I saw our... Richard? Seem to have lost Richard. 
Uh, we seem to have lost Richard, but this is a fantastic initiative. I'm actually looking through the book as the interview. I, I actually think that we have him back. Richard, do we have you? Yes, yes, I am back. My apologies about that. But please continue your point about what you hope that this book does for Trinbagonians. Right, yes. I, uh, as I said, I'm... Yeah, we seem to be having some technical trouble that we will have to uh, sort out, but this is a phenomenal book that Richard Ramirez is working on, his travels across Trinidad and Tobago, putting, all, putting it all into those landmarks. We're going to try him back one more time and hope that uh, the, the technology is on our side. Richard, I believe that we have you back. Yes, um, we seem to be dropping off, by, by, maybe on my side. Um, yes, so are you hearing me now? Yeah, I am hearing you. Go ahead. Okay. Right. So the, the, the intent is to, to try to, to boost our national pride a little bit, uh, let people recognize the beauty of, of what they have. Uh, when they see these buildings like President's House and Whitehall and uh, Mealtrees and Red House and so on, they, they must recognize what a beauty it is and the fact that it, it is something that, that we can also use for marketing. You know, we've been talking about di diversification uh, of the economy for, for so many years. As you mentioned, uh, yeah. as you mentioned, Richard, you know, it's it's one thing taking these ph phenomenal pictures that you've taken, but you've also, and I like the fact that you've also made it a very important part in scripting the history so that people don't just see the pictures, but they have a description of what the picture is, where is where it is, and the historical aspect of it. How difficult was it to get the historical aspect on some of these images? In some cases, it was fairly easy. Um, but the majority of them, it was a little bit hard because the, the information doesn't sit in a single repository anywhere. So I am hoping that this is going to be the first or one of the pieces that are going to add to that, that store of information that, that, that we have. Um, a lot of instances, it was a case of visiting the area and speaking to a number of different people uh, who lived in the areas for, for some time so they can give you bits of the history. Um, but it, it, it was a bit of a challenge. I'm hoping it gets easier going forward. And this is just volume one of the book. <laughs> I expect to do three volumes. Um, but, you know, one thing at a time. I'm, I'm hoping that when this uh, COVID emergency settles a little bit, I'll be able to get into the, to the marketing of it. Uh, so hopefully by the tail end of this year, the book should be on the market. It should be in schools, in libraries and um, available at uh, retail outlets uh, throughout the country as well. We uh, in, the, in the interim, uh, we can, uh, you can feel free to visit my uh, Facebook page, which is Richard Ramirez Imaging on Facebook, where I share all of the images, and I share images that aren't in the book as well. Um, I try to keep a constant feed of information going in there to keep people interested and, and entertained at the same time. Uh, especially during this lockdown period. I, I've been at home uh, for several weeks now, still finding things to photograph. No, no historic buildings in my yard, but um, <laughs> trying to keep people in the team. All right, Richard Ramirez, thank you very much for joining us this morning to tell us about this, uh, what will be, I know will be, a truly successful book. Thank you. Thank you very much. Richard Ramirez, re about to release a book, I should say. It's in the publishing phases right now, and he'll be marketing it post-pandemic. And we wish him all of the successes as he takes Trinidad and Tobago's history, the beauty of our history, to not only us here in Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean, but also the world. We take a quick break on the morning, bro. We'll be right back.